Hello everyone. Goodbye. Hello, hello. It is the Pride Parade. We also have uh, an ad currently going on. Uh, I might. <laughs> well, yeah. Ah, uh, hello everyone. I definitely didn't just uh wake up from a nap and uh rush to get everything set up. <laughs> It is I, Mooney, the sleepiest of slime, and today we are live. Yes, 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 yes! Do I sleep? I am being shaked here! I'm waking up! I'm waking up! It's been a long parade! But we've all stuck through it. And I am very proud also of everything we've accomplished. Can't wait to see how further we can take this either. Uh, ads are almost gone. So, uh, just stick it out for a little bit longer, everyone. Almost there. Yeah! We broke 1,000! Isn't that amazing? Okay, now we're on! And now we're off from our jail. Hello everyone! It is I, Mooney, the sleepiest of slime, and welcome to all of you wonderful raiders from the Geek Squid! Hello, hello, hello! Yes, I am so sleepy! Wow, our entire the sleepiest of slimes. I definitely haven't been uh trying to tweak audio settings for like the past 15 minutes or so and then forgot uh to check the time. Yeah, no, uh, that would be very irresponsible. And I definitely wouldn't do that. <laughs> I have made it! Hello! Hello everyone! Hello, hello, hello! And first of all, thank you all, uh, th thank you the Geek Squid specifically for the raid! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for making waves for the Pride Parade! Uh, yes, Wumi should be working. Hold on. I am just, uh, I have also, uh, I am not used to, uh, streaming with two monitors yet. It is very new to me. And I'm looking everywhere. It's like, where's everything? It's certainly helpful. I just need to learn how to do it. Oh, oh, yes. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello, Raiders. Hello, Diggy. Hello, Arlie. Hello, Cry Me a Cupcake. Hello, Great Cthulhu. Hello, Bandy Parsley. Hello, Cow Makes Art. Hello, Moody Modron. Hello, Rustam. Hello, Sasso Streaming. Hello, Full Frontal Duty. Hello, Trist the Dragon. And I think that's everyone. Whew. Yeah, second monitors help a lot for doing uh, VTubing things. Yes, uh, the alerts should work. Uh, they might be a little quiet. I haven't uh, tried the, uh, the, 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 the... Haven't checked the volume in a while, but it should be okay. Ah, uh, jump, 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 and uh, jump, 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 and uh, <laughs> yes, so, uh, to give a little primer on who I am, I am Mooney, the sleepiest of slimes, I stream usually on Tuesdays and Fridays, uh, today, in fact, is, uh, my first time streaming in, like, two weeks, I think, because, uh, I might have forgotten to, uh, 
take care of uh, myself a little bit. Got a, 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 li a little bit too uh, excited about streaming and less so about uh, my very slimy health. So, you know, had to take a little bit to just, uh, you know, get some damn times and also, you know, uh, meds, they also uh, do things. Yes, slimy health is very important. Uh, slimes get dehydrated very easily and you don't want a dehydrated slime. They get all scaly and uh, kind of like, not puffy, but it, it's like jello that's been sit out, sitting out for too long. It's not very pleasant. Not very pleasant at all. <laughs> yeah, crusty slimes, they're not very fine, but if you do, you can actually, um, Take like just a, a little chunk of slime, j just a tiny bit. <laughs> Thank you. Mm, no, I can't. Coffee or tea uh, doesn't exactly work on slime very much. We have, um, well, honestly, we don't really know what we have, or rather, I don't. See, um, this silly little slime might have done a silly little oopsie when she was on the moon working on um definitely ethical and totally um totally safe experiments you know just uh messing around with some uh you know alien specimens you know just your simple everyday xenobiologist doing and of biologist things and then uh one day you just come in you're a little bit tired but you're like you know what i'm gonna decode that genome today and then you take the vial and then you go to the lab but then you forget that you sit put down your water bottle like right in front of the door and then you kind of trip on it and then you know the vial the vial drops it breaks and then you don't know where it wins but suddenly uh you take a step back and whoops oh i think good news i found the specimen bad news i think it might have been absorbed into me so you know uh it, it, it's 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 extra hazard pay very profitable so uh yeah that that's that is a me um i have no idea what's going on there but i'm working that is the general uh huda hub hubby dad the the shenanigan the thingamajig, that is, the slimy slime. Sometimes, uh, you you just do a silly oopsie, and then, uh, like, you you just wake up a few months later and it's like, huh, I feel very, uh, you know, when you say your legs feel like jello. Yeah, it was that kind of morning, except I looked down and then I saw jello. Blue raspberry jello. Very tasty. So that is the Sleepy Moon. I have no idea how anything of uh, this works, but we can figure it out, figure it out together, and hope it maybe isn't contagious. But hey, extra have it be. And what better way to support um 
Rainbow Railroad than by doing questionably ethical science. It's maybe could be used for uh, you know uh, <laughs> okay 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 uh, yes yes see uh this Mooney gets very excited sometimes she doesn't know when to stop and then she just kind of goes. Just kind of go, uh, just, 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 poof, just like, ah, uh, uh, feeling a little bit tired. I'll, I'll just rest down. And then you end up sleeping for a whole week. <laughs> so yeah, I am trying. Right! No time for sleeping. The time for sleeping is, uh, later. Right now, we're raising money. <laughs> she can't hear me. She has AirPods in. Yeah, I for I forgot to uh, I forgot to remove them. Now they're they're kind of just stuck there. They're like you can see them floating around. Just seeing them float around, kind of like the brain cell. But yes, oh yes, yes. So the Pride Parade. We are uh, raising raising money for Rainbow Railroad, which is. Uh, okay, let's see if this works. Yeah, right here. Rainbow Railroad is a non-profit organization which is aiming to help queer people in dangerous situations so they can uh, get out of there and move to someplace safer. And so far, we have reached over $1,000 reached. So that is a very cool, very poggers of us, I think. And what better game to play than uh, oops. Uh, that is a uh, yes here. Have a ba Yes, I am streamer. I remember how to stream. Yeah, Celeste! It might look a little bit different though. I, I think uh, it, it might have a... Uh, maybe not infected, but... Hmm. But you know what? You, you, you'll see. You'll see it when we get to it. Uh, which one was this again? Uh, I think this one. Hmm. Uh, what? Uh, yes, uh, well, you know what? Dependencies are very cool. Very useful. They're, they're, they're very dependable, you could say. So we'll leave that running while, uh, we, uh, maybe keep our passions in check a little bit, yes. This little slimy brain is very excited. Gets maybe a little bit too excited sometimes. So I am doing my best to Maybe, maybe not, ah, uh, tire myself out right away. It is quite the precarious balance. But that is why I have started taking some very slimy medication. Your effect is debatable, but I do think they are helping. 
in some way. Well, error installing style mask helper failed. Please check your log for more info. Hmm. That is maybe a little bit awkward. You see, I did make sure to update all mods before this, but then, well, you know how it is. The scuff always finds a way to find you. You don't find the scuff. The scuff finds you. And find me it has. Hmm. Alright. Well, how about this? <laughs> we shall simply check that handy dandy little log file. Uh, if I can find it. I don't think I can. Hmm. Ah, uh, so. Yes, I would love to know where this log.txt is, though. Hmm. Ha ba 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 ba. And I'm like. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Well, it's always good to have a plan B. And so, uh, how about, uh, we try a little bit of, well, if I can find it. <laughs> Crypt of the Necrodancer. <laughs> Let's just not forget to... Oh, that is a little bit loud. <laughs> okay. Ah. Excuses for the scarf. I have not streamed in a while. And I have been uh, very excited for this. Maybe a little bit... Uh... <laughs> okay, okay. That's good. That's good. It, uh, then it's just uh, loud for me. All right. Uh, blah, blah, blah. let's uh get you uh um, yeah here. Ooh. Okay, you are a little bit big. How about I make you just a little bit smaller? And you. There we go. Okay, that looks good. Looks good. Looks good. So, if Celeste doesn't want to work, well, sounds like it's gonna be time for a little bit of necrodancing. Mm, oops. Okay, okay, okay. Volume all right, I hope. Oh, it is a bit... Yeah! Crypt of the Necrodancer on sale for like three bucks right now, by the way. Please do pick it up. It is amazing. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I love it, I love it too. It is so, so good. Oh, I am very bad at it too. Okay, and, uh, um, oops. a game that makes you go, <laughs> yeah, um, uh, okay, are we good? Let's go. So this character, well, I, I guess she is a bit of the hard mode character. But basically, uh, she dies very easily. Just how easily? Let me show you. So bats, normally not that harmful. But uh, their random pattern makes it a bit hard to predict them. 
So you kind of have to dance around them and be like, oh, you're going to hit me or you're not going to hit me? And then, oh, whoops, and then you miss a beat. That's how they get you. And get Perry, you filthy casual blade master. Blade master? More like blade casual. No fire, please. Or digging. What? And yeah. Oh, uh, ba 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 ba. Did I change the uh, ba 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 ba? I this is uh. Oh, I have not updated the category. Excuses. Uh, and here we. So yes, uh, Arya, she dies, um, basically to everything. She gets hit, she dies. She misses a beat, she dies. She digs a wall that can't be digged, she dies. Because you missed a beat. That's all though. And look how kind the devs are. You even get a free potion that revives you. Isn't that so kind of them? You can make one mistake instead of zero. Just be careful not to rock out too much. Goolems. There can only be one goopy. And it is me. So there, that was actually a spiked wall. That was added in a recent update, which I think they are very, very interesting, but they're also, uh, Kind of, uh, they'll, they'll, they'll hit you hard if you're not careful, you know? Shuffle of strength, ah, uh, yeah. Uh. <laughs> the last binding of Isaac. Uh, I don't know who they are, but yes. <laughs> and hello, Roxas, been a while. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, yeah, I just got roasted. We have roasted movie, roasted slime like roasted jello if you've ever had that. I've never had that. Ah, they also die in one hit. Ah. And yes, I do agree, SFR Cloudy. Necrodancer does rule. It rules over my brain cells. Like a feudal lords in the 1980s. Uh, wait, 18. Uh. In an ancient time. Time to be a ninja! Bam! Oh. That is good to know! Ah! See, that is a wall! I would have died there had it not been for that potion! And that is a nightmare. Not exactly a nightmare to face, though. They're... Ah, yes, cheese. So very useful. Hmm. Hmm. I am trying to read chat, but I am also trying not to die. <laughs> it is quite the balancing act. Uh, in case you might be thinking, oh, well, I'll just get some health upgrades if she dies in one hit. That is not possible. If you get anything that would increase your max HP, it simply will not work. 
This grandma is very old and a little bit stubborn. And she does not want to have uh, any health upgrades. Yeah, I have tried Cadence of a Higher Life, so I didn't get very far. Ah. Just like I didn't get very far in this floor. <laughs> Never beat the game with this character, but I believe in you. Thank you! Mm, yeah, Candidates of Hyrule is definitely unique. I honestly was very baffled when I heard about the collab because uh, a Zelda collab with Necrodancer is not something I ever expected. <laughs> but uh, I am sure I am for it. I should get back to it. It has some really nice music, uh, as expected, of uh, Danny Baranowski, though. They are very good. Mm. As much as I like Aria, I like this little ghost a little bit more. They are very fun to play as, they all die in one hit, but they have a fun little gimmick on top of that. Let me show you. So you see these bats? I'm one of them now. I am the bat now. I am the bat ghost. It is very fun. You can do very silly things with this. Bad slime. I cannot stay a bad slime for long though. But it's fine. I'll just possess another one. And that's the fun part about Chand. You just switch from enemy to enemy. Though you do have to be careful. Because uh oh no bats can dig, yes. Uh, bats can wield shovels, did you know that? And broadswords. Don't ask how they do it, though. <laughs> ah yes, you see this little slime here? Um, uh, they can't move normally, so uh, I can't move either. Now this little ghosty is invincible when uh, facing away from enemies, or rather when enemies face you. Can't quite say I understand how to activate it, but as you can see, that one was transparent. That means it didn't take any damage. Hmm. And a random weapon. Give me a ring. Not exactly useful. Ring of region is normally Wumi. useful. Wumi! Oh, huh. And you can also do this. Excuse it. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I might have forgotten my water bottle. Hold on just a second. Okay, sorry about that. I uh, had refilled my water bottle before stream. I forgot to uh, bring it back next to my desk. Classic Mooney things. Okay, okay, let's get on with the necrodancing once again. 
Mm -hmm. Alright, so arguably the best part about Chaunter is that you can possess mini bosses. And you get all their abilities. Hopefully, we can get a uh, red dragon to show up because these are very fun to possess. Speaking of which, all right, let's just set it up and bam, bam. You see that? That is why dragon is fun. Uh, right. Uh, normally, you can get through those uh, traps. Dragons are very big, though. They do not fit in those. <laughs> ah, and there it goes. So this this fight teaches you to count to seven because if you don't, a certain monkey will be very angry, just like he was. Thankfully, it's the only map uh, in the entire game that has an irregular beat map because I don't think my flamey little brain cells could withstand much of that. <laughs> Silly blood bats. Oh, well, here's another one. So kind of you to join us. And here we go. And now we just blast everything. So anyways, I started blasting. So with Chaunter, you get to stay longer in whatever summon you have with each kill. It is very easy to get more kills with red dragons because they're basically a sniper class and have piercing damage. And they deal a buttload of damage. So they're very fun. Okay, I said the Ring of Region wasn't very useful, but honestly, it's kind of helping keep this uh, red dragon alive for a very long time. Stinky bat. Oh, is that another? Uh, it is. Uh, it turns out getting blasted in the face with a uh, fireball spell does hurt. But um, if I am correct, I'm doing like 10 damage per fireball spell now. Alright, goodbye! You can also do quick turnarounds because uh, each fireball is tied to a specific spell. Ooh. Red dragon now. Uh, no, that, that is very much blue. 
So blue dragons normally are much more dangerous, but not that fun to possess. Need to wrap these guys up. Oh, that is a nymph. That is a mimic. You cannot hurt mimics on their first turn. They will hurt you very badly. So, uh, that, oh, here, here, here we have another very interesting interaction with Chaunter. So you see this green slime here, completely harmless, can't do a thing to anyone. Ah, that is the wrong button. Well, I guess we'll just have to wait for a little bit longer. Anyway, here's a bunch of black skeletons. It's quite a rare spawn, actually. And now they're all dead. Can we... Ah, oh, there it is! Mm. Here we go. That's one fun thing about Chanter. Blood chops are essentially free! Because they take uh, the HP of your uh, possessed host but you don't die if your possessed host dies, so it's free HP. Uh, uh, no, not not HP, but items. Yes. Mm. I'm honestly not sure how weapon damage works still. It is a little bit confusing, but certain uh, certain uh, certain enemies will take your pack weapon. Sometimes they won't. It's a little bit confusing. So sometimes you actually don't want to have a weapon because you want to use like your innate attack. I don't really pay attention to that. I just hope, <laughs> I just hope for a, uh, just hope for a red dragon, and we're good from there. Yeah, it's free real estate. You, you are, yeah, overeat near me. A rat. Look at that! It's a little rat! It's free rat. Mm. Free money. So normally you would be able to go through these traps, but since Chanter is considered floating, uh, they, they don't really go over them. Uh, well, you are technically hugging the rat at all times because it follows you. Unfortunately, there is uh, not much else. They are simply a friend. They are a very helpful friend, though. Hmm. Oh, I don't have a bomb. I could do something very funny here. Alright, so monkeys are an enemy type that latch onto you and then they just like stay there for a while until you get hit. Well, waiting for you to get hit. Unfortunately, that means uh, possessing them isn't very useful. Because you'll just stick on to an enemy and uh, deal no damage. 
Not the most useful. Hmm. Transmute. And gimme. You know what? Sure. I will gladly take a torch. Broadsword. Onyx weapons are interesting. They ha don't have any base damage multipliers, but on consecutive hits, they deal kind of a lot. Hmm. I already deal 4 damage. Oh, yeah, I do, huh? With the Ring of Might and probably some... Uh, yeah, you, you kind of just learn to just go with the flow sometimes with Chanter because like, oh, I, I deal 4 damage now? Okay. <laughs> anyway, here's that metal. Uh, if you switch the... If you switch... Uh, blah, 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 um, audio and change soundtrack and you switch it to Family Jewels, which is the rock soundtrack. I'm not sure if it'll do it. But ah, no, it doesn't do it. Ah, whoops, wrong button. Oh, right. You have a shield, and now you don't want. Goodbye. Thank you, Rat. And, uh, thank you, Mimic. Anyways, bombs away! Very useful little thing, compasses. Though each level actually has a uh, preset way that they generate the exits, so they'll always be in generally the same place. So, for example, in this level, in Zone 2, it will always be, like, perpendicular to uh, the spawn point. Uh, not perpendicular, but... So, uh... Not sure how to explain it, but basically it's not where the main roads lead. So there's like two roads here. It's the opposite way of that. Yeah, kaboom! And here's a whole lot of kabooms. And kabooey. Even more kabooey. So these are grenades. They're very fun. Much more fun when they don't replace your bombs. Before uh, the latest update actually, they replaced your bombs. So that meant that uh, you didn't have any bombs. So you couldn't do stuff like this. You had to get in range and you explode automatically. So uh, if you don't know what grenades are, you can kind of just uh, blow yourself up really easily. Oh yeah, also uh, the funny thing with skeletons is that when you possess them, uh, if they go down to half HP, they lose their head, literally, and they cannot uh, walk in more than one direction. A glass cane, glass staff. So, yeah, so you can see in the attack slot here, they have like this kind of stick. That's cause they don't have, uh, 
um, wait no, they do have an innate weapon. Um, okay, sorry, uh, it is a little bit much. <laughs> Okay, Fortissimo! He's gonna have a funny little lag. You cannot pass, uh, possess bosses, unfortunately. Even though it would be very fun. Though technically in the Deep Blues fight, you can possess the minions, which are essentially bosses, like part of the bosses, but the boss itself, the king piece, you can't possess, which is honestly the weakest one, so the queen you can actually possess, and that's the strong one. Oh wait, I already had a torch, I am being silly. Healing isn't very useful on Chanter. But possessing these little raids, very fun. Just be careful not to end up in a actually Okay, you just get pushed back. That's good to know. This is actually a push monster. You can't directly deal damage, but if you push people into walls, you deal damage. That's that's their thing. They're really just there to displace you. But it's funny getting kills with them. And let's just heal. And fire elemental. Gotta keep track of everyone. And here we go. And uh oh, oh. Okay, yeah, so what we kind of gets to be a lot, so, uh, excuse us if I, uh, maybe not talk a whole lot. This is actually a beetle, though. They are very interesting enemies. They are invincible until you get close. And then they reveal their inner shell. This might be a bad spot to be in. I somehow got through all that. <laughs> we clutch those. Oh, okay. Ten minutes to read out. Alright, I will go just after this then. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, and you did. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, the tree gets to be a lot. It's actually a uh, personal record of mine. I've never gotten to zone four in all zones with Chanter. Yeah, that is another monkey. It is a uh, telemonkey. They are very dangerous. <laughs> mm, I'm gonna take this actually. And harpies. Oh wait, I actually have a blood rapier. These are very strong on Chanter because you are always at full health, so you are always doing a whole lot of damage. Uh, uh, totally planned. And 
Okay, after this floor, uh, we will bait out. And kaboom? Kaboom. To watch out for these little sneaky guys. They can, uh, oh, yeah, this is funny. So, if you parry a Blade Master and try to uh, fight the Blade Master, <laughs> you can actually take over the shopkeepers. Uh, they are an enemy. Um, you would have to actually fight them though, and they are uh, very powerful, so you have to be uh, very careful with these little guys. And... Zone 4 tree! And... Hehe! <laughs> I am immune to your tricks, you silly little beasts. <laughs> oh, really silly. Oh, we'll take you, Telemonkey. You're supposed to teleport me into trouble, not teleport me out of trouble. Okay. And I can just do this. Uh, I don't know where he went though. Oh, there you are. You think you can hide from me? I'll parry everything, you scrub. Oh, that was flawless. So if you do a flawless, actually, you get a choice of three chests. Give me a spell. Hmm, you know what? <laughs> I don't think this is what I want right now. Uh, okay, well, yes, uh, so this is actually zone 5, the final zone, but uh, we are also in the final minutes. So I think it will be time to bring the raid, the parade train, to its next step. Which is uh, actually uh, Arlie, if you would be so kind. Our next destination uh, is... Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I am looking at the uh, schedule, 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 schedule. Okay, uh, the tiny dungeon. All right, all right. Right here. Thank you, my dragon. Okie dokie. Let's raid into the tiny dungeon then. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much uh, for coming. Ah, oh, peculiar little rabbit. Thank you very much for the follow. Make sure the schedule has full links to everyone so people don't have to dig so hard. Uh, that's okay. Uh, if you ever need help with like uh, setting up stuff and just like uh, managing like a uh, Discord server or just like uh, spreadsheets, I would uh, be very happy to just uh, help you out with like the logistics of that. I love just uh, I love kind of all that kind of like uh, maybe not busy work, but I I I, I think uh, just like uh, blah, blah. I guess it's not really config work, but I, I config work in general, even if that's not technically 
Yeah. Uh, you, 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 you get me. You, you understand. It was just, and it's, uh, yes. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Point of the matter is, uh, yes. If you, uh, would like extra help next year, this Mooney would gladly help. But uh, thank you, Arlie, for this wonderful event, and thank y'all for raising over one thousand, uh, well, one thousand dollar dues for uh, Rainbow Railroad. And now let's go give the tiny dungeon a very slimy welcome. Goodbye. What?